Hello. The struggle to stay warm without turning on the whole entire house unit. Mm. So, uh, I think it's been over a year ago I did a little video about the 1500 watt electric heaters with fans. You know, it doesn't matter how big they are or how small they are. 1500 watts is 1500 watts. So, uh, I enjoy using those. They can be loud and, you know, they can have a tendency to dry the air in the room you're in. So, I got this, what I thought was a reasonably good price. Uh, I don't always buy things like this at Ollie's. I buy pet supplies and knickknacks and books and doodads. But I thought, you know what, I'll give it a shot. Let's try it because um, one that was comparable in size and strength and all that at Walmart was $48. So it's a $10 difference. Try it out, see what happens. Um, I had the electric heater on in this room um, throughout the day, and honestly, I was kind of tired of hearing it. You know, it was a noise. So, um, if you can hear this doing a little click, 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 click. So, that's all it does. Every now and then, um, you'll hear these oil-filled heaters make a little clicking sound. I had one of these years and years ago. Um, I would say probably around 1998, and for some reason, I really thought I remembered it being a lot bigger, like taller, larger, bigger than this. Um, so, uh, I think this is, I think I remember it said it was 26 inches tall. Yeah, so, um, and they're not very long either. I really thought the one I had years and years ago was bigger. Um, so, evidently not, or they're smaller and more efficient now. I don't know. So, what I did is I checked the temperature in the room, um, what the temperature was with the electric heater running. Um, the room was a nice 65 degrees, which is, uh, comfortable to me, not too warm and not too cool. And I have turned this on haven't turned it all the way to high, but I've turned it up uh, fairly high. And uh, it's putting out warmth, and I'd like to see if it will hold the room at the 65 that the other heater had it on. And I have it placed at an odd uh, place right this minute because I wanted to keep it away from anything. I think you have to keep them about three feet away from everything. We shall see. We shall see how this does. Oh, and I did have um, one of my little portable heaters that I had had for years and years and years. Um, the little overheat light started coming on. Uh, so I threw it away. Um, it was one that I used in my bathroom. And uh, no, that's just not worth it. Um, the overheat protection is there for a reason. So if you have a heater and that starts coming on, um, you know, it could mean there's a fault somewhere, and due to the fact that heater was probably about 12 years old, I felt like it was time to let it go. Let it go. So, do you have a gas-filled radiator heater, and how does it do for you? I think the room that I'm in, this is my den. Um, this is where all the video gaming and book reading and uh, fun stuff happens. This is a small room. It's one of the smaller rooms in my house. I think it's only about 10 by 12. So, we'll see how it goes. Let me know if you have one of these and how it works for you. Okay, thanks.